Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. Today I'm going to show you what happens when you put Epsom salt in your plants, both indoor and outdoor, and your grass. Basically anything green that you want to have thriving. Why Epsom salt, you might be asking, contains made of magnesium sulfate. Let's just take a peek right here in the package. You may have used this for soaking. I did this after having four children. A laxative for relief of occasional constipation. No judging right here. It happens to the best of us. But this one right here, plant food for bigger, more vigorous plants. Let me know in the comments box below, have you used this on your plants? I'm going to show you how. I needed to run a little experiment. This plant right here is looking real sad. The yellowing leaves, it's just dying. It was worse before, before I pruned it. Why? I overwatered it. Bad news bears. I'll tell you what that penny is for in just a second. So I tried it on this plant right here. Look at this one, thriving, green, abundant, so this is what you are going to do. You're gonna take a little Epsom salt. At first, a little goes a long way. You just wanna test this out with your plants and see how they react. And why does this work so well? Because the magnesium helps the plant absorb nutrients much better. So for this plant right here, I'm just gonna grab a spoonful of some Epsom salt. And I'm not gonna use this much, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna sprinkle a little of this in and around the soil. And then I'm gonna water it as needed. And we're gonna bring this poor guy back to life that might be just a little bit too much but i want to get a little bit around here in the soil and then you're going to water it as needed i would say do this about once every two weeks depending upon how your plants are responding to the epsom salt and then water as needed also if you are looking for what happens when you put pennies in your soil i'm going to link that video in the description box below and speaking of clothespins i have a ton of useful clothespin hacks I will link that in the description box as well. I am so excited. Hopefully we can bring this baby back to life. All right, check out these two videos on screen now. Thumbs up, sign up for the weekly newsletter in the description box. See you in the next one.